Here's an example of uncertainty propagation using quadrature for the case of multiplication, division, and power, or exponents. We're given three variables here along with the associated uncertainty. Um, you should be familiar with the fact that this front is what's known as the value of A, or the measure N, plus or minus the uncertainty, in this case the absolute uncertainty of A as quoted here. And likewise for B delta B, C delta C. What we're asked to do is to carry out this particular somewhat nasty and arbitrary calculation, and it's just really there to demonstrate all the different mathematical operation we could be doing. And like any calculation, the first step is really just to find the value of S using the value of A, B, and C without worrying about the uncertainty first. And of course, we should be plugging in the units as well, especially in this case where the unit is going to come out something not very pretty. We really should carry it through to make sure we have whatever we should be getting at the end. So if you plug that on the calculator, you get this number here. We'll carry a few more digits, way more than we need for now. Once we figure out our uncertainty, then we know where to chop off our sig figs. And then since we have kilograms and kilograms to the fourth on top, we get kilograms to the fifth and meters square on the bottom. So for the uncertainty, we have a whole series of rules, some dealing with product, some dealing with division, some dealing with power and constants. What I'm going to tell you is we can do all this in one single step. And it's actually pretty easy as a procedure instead of trying to plug it into these various formulas and rules that are somewhat rigid. And here are the steps. The first step is really to decide and figure out whether we're dealing with absolute uncertainty or relative uncertainty, which is delta S over S. For addition subtraction, we deal with the absolute uncertainty, delta S. And for multiplication division exponent, we always deal with the relative uncertainty first. And then from there, we can follow specific steps to formulate and come up with the correct expression without worrying too much about which rules we're using. And hopefully that will be a little more straightforward to use. So the first step we already talked about, we have to decide whether we're using the absolute uncertainty or the relative uncertainty. This calculation involving a bunch of multiplication, power, and division, we're going to start off using our relative uncertainty first. Then the second step is we list out all the different things we're multiplying, dividing, and raising to different powers. In this case, we have A, B, and C. And just for demonstrative purposes, I'm also going to put 6 in there because there's another thing we're multiplying. Now, of course, since we're dealing with relative uncertainty, we should make all these have relative uncertainty. But then here you realize that what is the relative uncertainty of 6? Well, it's nothing. So this is 0. So this whole term goes away. Then the last step to come up with the correct expression is to sum the uncertainty. <clears throat> Regardless if we're multiplying or dividing, the uncertainty always stacks up. In this case, the relative uncertainty here always stacks up. With the power, it's like you're multiplying or dividing multiple times. So that's why we end up multiplying the associated relative uncertainty with the power. Even if it's negative power, we just put the positive number because Again, the uncertainty always add. And then last but not least, we do this funny thing called quadrature, which is associated with the fact that all the uncertainty in, that we come up with in the lab is assumed to come up from random processes that are fairly well described by the Gaussian distribution or the bell curve. When we combine uncertainty of these types, we square everything and put it under a square root. And there you go. That is the correct expression to calculate the relative uncertainty in S, constructing it step by step and all in one step, even though we're doing multiplication, division, and exponents. So let's clean that up a bit and rewrite it purely as the thing we need. 
And now that we have that, it's just a matter of subbing in the correct number in the correct spots. Again, I'll be explicit with the units uh, so that you can see where the units go away. But we have delta A divided by A, right? Delta A is given by the plus or minus here. All square. Units should cancel out as you expect. Because relative uncertainty should not have any units. You could of course just punch it all in the calculator and get you the number. I'm just going to show a few more steps here. Again, not rounding off because it is an intermediate calculation. Then I put it on the calculator and I end up with that again, a unit less number, which is a relative uncertainty of 0.033 or about 3.3%. Now to then quote our final answer, we want to get S plus or minus delta S, delta S being the absolute uncertainty. So we don't quite have that yet. To get the absolute uncertainty, we take the relative uncertainty, which is what as a whole thing we have figured out to be 0 0.033, and we multiply it by our value of S, which carries with it the unit appropriate to what we need. So then to write the final answer of S with the correct sig figs, again, we start by looking at the absolute uncertainty first, which is over here. We have to keep one digit of that, only the first digit. So clearly we have to use scientific notation. Now the scientific notation has to follow the value of S itself. So the proper scientific notation of this number is seven, 0.3 something something times 10 to the 3 with the appropriate units. So then we can put that on the back, put a big giant bracket so it applies to both the value and the absolute uncertainty. And 200 in terms of 10 to the, the third is going to be 0 0.2, right? Keeping only one significant figure. Having 0.2 here means we get to keep one decimal place. So instead of 7.376, we get to do 7.4. And that is how we deal with uncertainty propagation in multiplication, division, exponents with quadrature.